most welcome to Historia's Banana, History Reconnaissance, and some great images from England in the two first years of the 20th century. The years of 1901 and 1902 marks the transition from the Victorian to the Edwardian era, with the death of the 81-year-old Queen Victoria and the accession of her 59-year-old son to the throne as Edward VII, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, and the British Dominion and Emperor of India. And please, like, share and subscribe. It means a lot to us. By 1900, the Manchester city region was the ninth most populous in the world. In the early 20th century, Manchester's economy diversified into engineering, chemical and electrical industries. The Manchester Ship Canal, completed in 1894, allowed Manchester to become Britain's third busiest port, despite being 40 miles inland. high-speed torpedo boats and their crew visit Edwardian Manchester. The two bottom bridges over the Manchester Ship Canal was open for the flotilla to pass through. These are swing bridges, one for a road, the other the only swing aqueduct in Britain carrying a canal. These torpedo boat destroyers were built for the Royal Navy in the late 1890s. They had a top speed of 30 knots, a turtleback forecastle and three funnels. Displacement was around 350 tons and a length of around 200 feet. All were powered by triple expansion steam engines. Armament was one 12 pounder gun on a bandstand on the forecastle, five 6 pounders, two sided abreast the conning tower, two sided between the funnels and one on the quarter deck, and two sink tubes for 18 inch torpedoes. In 1898, the first two electrified tram lines opened in Bradford. One to Bolton Junction, the other to Great Horton. In 1902, the horse trams were retired, and in 1903, the steam services, making the Bradford tramway system fully electrified.
Manchester in 1901, and the then former Commander-in-Chief of the Boer War and the head of the army, Lord Frederick Roberts, performed the unveiling of the statue of the late Queen Victoria. Large numbers of people had turned out for the occasion, but the grandstand erected for the dignitaries rather dominated the area and restricted the view of the large number of ordinary people who apparently made their discontent clear. The organizing committee and the police were criticized, and it was said that only good fortune prevented someone from being killed. And, as we see, the photographer caught mainly this unrest and only a below-shoulders view of the bronze statue. Christian Charity, the Band of Hope, was formed in Leeds in 1845 and encouraged people to sign the pledge to abstain from alcohol. And everyone here is out in their Sunday best. coronation of Edward VII and his wife Alexandra as King and Queen of the United Kingdom and the British Dominions and as Emperor and Empress of India took place at Westminster Abbey London on 9th of August 1902 and here we see this celebrated with a procession in Bradford. That's all folks, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.